we are going to lift Higginsworth's 3,000 pound car using only a shop vac and a plastic bag. But before we flip over Higgs' car, I mean lift Higgs' car, I'm gonna show you a simple experiment you can try at home to demonstrate the power of air pressure in something called Pascal's Law. All right, I'm gonna start with these long bags, and here's where you find the long bag. I'm using a Diaper Genie refill. Measure and cut two bags the length of your table. Tie off the ends and lay them out. In this particular case, I'm gonna lay this one out here like that, and this one is gonna have the opening on this side, like this. Got it? And now, let's sandwich the bags with a piece of wood. So we set this down here. Good. Whatever you'd like to lift, simply put on here. That's why you need some friends. Higgins and Carly, come on in. So Carly, if you'll come up here and sit on the board. Higgins, you're gonna be on this side over here. Great job. Now the only thing you wanna make sure is that they don't put their fingers down like this. If you lift up the board, you don't wanna catch your fingers here. Got it, Carly? Got it. We're good? All right. So here's what uh, you're gonna do. Higgins, you're gonna blow into this bag. I'm gonna okay. blow into this end over here. Pascal said that the pressure exerted by that air throughout that entire bag should be equal all the way across. So we should be able to lift up Carly without any problem at all. Okay, here we go, Carly. All right, all right, here we go. So we're gonna blow into the bag, but don't let the air back out again, right, Higgs? All, all right. right, here we go. Look at that. We're lifting her. Look at that. It's looking great. Wow! <laughs> and that's why you got to be careful. But that's fantastic. <laughs> we were able to lift Carly. Now, we should be able to lift the car. I didn't mean like because we could lift Carly, we could lift the car. We can lift a car. Of course, we're going to use a really big plastic bag. It's a plastic tarp. You're gonna need to have a big tarp, heavy duty tarp. This one's about, what, 20 by 30? Yep. We unroll the tarp and stretch it out. Then we tape up all the eyelets around the edge of the tarp. We make sure to use double wide, super strong tape. If you don't do that, the whole thing won't work. We fold the ends of the tarp to the middle and then tape them down to form a giant seam. And now, take a look at the little opening that we've left here. That's gonna be just big enough to put the end of the shop back. We clip the hose in place and attach the other end to the nozzle of the shop back that blows the air out. Higgins, you should lay right there in the very middle. Done. Make sure that the seals of our bag will hold. Let's see if we can lift Higginsworth. Tell me if you feel yourself lifting up at all. I'm lifting off the ground already. What? Whoa. OK, Higgs, I got you. Oh, look at you. I don't want you to roll off there, Higgs. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> don't move. <laughs> Okay, turn it off! <laughs> you Higgs, how you doing? How you feeling? I'm pretty good. I feel like I'm like five feet off the ground. <laughs> I think it's ready for a car. The tarp's all laid out. It's time to bring in the car. Come on, Higgs! But just then, Higgs realizes something that could ruin the whole experiment. Uh. Oh my gosh. What? Just in time, Higgs discovers the problem. There's some sharp screws sticking out from underneath. We're gonna have to fix that first. All right. Higgs has the solution. First, he drives the car onto the tarp. We'll get some cardboard under there to help. Yep, grab it. Here you go. All right. We can throw these on this side. All right, we're gonna put some cardboard underneath to give us even a little bit more protection from those sharp objects that Higgins found. There you go, Higgs. Thank you. 
Higgins hadn't found those sharp objects underneath, uh, it would have punctured the bag, of course, and then just would have messed up everything. So it's perfect that he found it. All right, All right I think Higgs. we're good. Here we go. Hopefully. The goal is to lift a car with a shop back. All right, Higgins. Let's kind of clamp that in place. Okay. There we go. Now you don't have to lift a car if you don't want to lift a car. You could lift your friend's car. All right, Higgins. You ready? I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. All right. You're going to see the air go in the sides. That's fine. But hopefully it forms a little pillow underneath. We'll start to just kind of lift the car. Higgins, look at that side, see what you see. It's moving. Oh, it is moving. It's moving. You got it, Higgs. No way. Look at that. It really is living. It's up. Look at that. It's off the ground. Back wheel's off the ground. <laughs> But this is dangerous. The car might flip over or the bag could explode from all the weight. Higgs, look, look, look. Oh, <laughs> sweet. Stay away, but look at this. The seals are holding. What Just... if it bursts? Should we lower it? Is it raising it too high? I don't know, it's pretty high. Should we lower it? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I think it's getting pretty high up. It's gonna yeah. start pushing up against the front. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> Look at that. We successfully <laughs> lifted a car. That's awesome. A couple awesome. thousand pounds. Look at this. Cool. All right, that's pretty much amazing.